Hey guys, in today's video, I'd like to talk about will I stay in Shanghai or will I leave Shanghai? Kind of like the song, should I stay or should I go? Um, so uh, before I answer that question, I would like to say that I do not plan to leave China. I will stay in China, but I'm considering maybe going to another city. Um, or, or should I say uh, Zhejiang province, actually, I'm considering it. Um, this uh, lockdown is pretty harsh here. You know, Shanghai is an international city. So a lot of people travel here from other countries. A lot more mail and packages are delivered here. There's a lot more chances that Shanghai will be locked down again. Maybe not like this, but it will be a lot of mini lockdowns. And as somebody who works in public school as a teacher, schools are always the first to get locked down and sometimes you're paid sometimes you're not paid it depends on your school i've i've had both uh, and i'm talking about you won't be paid full but you'll be paid a percentage or or sometimes none that happened to me in 2020 this month it's basically i only get 2500 uh for my full-time job i'm doing a little bit of online teaching on the side to make up a little bit of money but not enough to live my full, uh, how much money I need to live my full life here. Um, basically, also will I leave? It really depends on a lot of different scenarios and circumstances. So if, for example, today if the lockdowns end, I'm pretty sure that schools will not reopen soon in Shanghai, probably not till June or July, most likely July, I think. June, maybe high school because they have exams and stuff like that. But like kindergartens, training schools, I just don't see open until July. They're not necessities here. Um, if I could get my things out of my apartment today and successfully leave, I would definitely leave today. Now, if things uh, get worse in other cities and Shanghai does reopen, I would probably stay here for a while because... I do have a part-time job and full-time together earns can earn a lot of money. You know, in other cities it's harder because it's just not that many uh, schools compared to Shanghai to find a part-time job. Full-time I can get the same salary anywhere. 25, 26, 27,000 is easy to get in Zhejiang province, Jiangsu. Shanghai is the same, but Shanghai you pay a lot more for the rent. So in the city of Ningbo, I'm considering going there. My friend, good Chinese friend I've known 12 years, he kind of was my boss when I first came. Um, he's lent me his car in the past to use, uh, like he has two cars. He lent me his Volkswagen where I can drive it anywhere I want. He gave it to me for a few months. I, I returned it when I left Ningbo and he's like, if I come back, he'll give me the car again. So I got my driver's license in Ningbo uh, like a year and a half ago. So. I'll make another video on that later but the idea to stay here in Shanghai is tough it's a tough decision because this lockdown man is torture it is just torturous second of all I the schools I, I want to work I don't want to waste my time sitting here not earning money you know, if I go in Ningbo, public schools are open. They only closed specific districts down that has cases, but then they reopen them. So a lot of cities right now, there are a lot of public schools open around China. But Shanghai, you know, I'm not working. And I need money. I need to live my life. I have goals. I have a future. I have a house. Uh, I have a lot to deal with. So will I stay? It depends on when Shanghai reopens. And it depends on the requirements to go to another city. The issue is if I leave Shanghai to go to Ningbo, I need at least 14 days quarantine at home, which right now it doesn't matter because I'm already <laughs> in a quarantine, right? Uh, kind of somewhat. I can go outside and stuff, but I can't leave my community right now. Even though my community is in precautionary, but because they're doing some new rounds of massive testing, they're not going to let people leave the community for now. And then maybe next week they'll, they said we can go back out. So uh, 
it's not too bad if I had to go do a 14, but it's 14 plus seven. So you sell seven days self monitoring. You could be around other people, but you got, you can't work or anything like that. You just got to monitor yourself. And the problem is that it's expensive. If you go to another city just to do 14 days plus seven, if you don't have an apartment or you don't have anywhere to go, if you've got to stay at a hotel, it's kind of expensive. Um, you could possibly rent a place for a month and do it like that, but it's just, it's hard, you know what I'm saying? So if Shanghai were to reopen pretty soon and I can go back to work full time and part time, I would probably stay for a while, at least until my visa runs out in October, my work visa, and then consider just transferring it to another city because I can earn almost 38 to 40,000 with both jobs. So I could make up quite a bit of money that I lost during this period but moving forward, my plan is to go to another city and live my life. Things are cheaper in terms of rent, in terms of parking a car, driving, um, just in general. Um, things, you know, you spend less time on the subway. You spend less time dealing with a lot of the hassles that you are here. Shanghai is an easy city to live in. However, these lockdowns, it's enough. Um... It happened in 2020. Shanghai is one of the last cities to reopen. I think it was June 2020, they, the first week they allowed schools to reopen. Then Shanghai has had a few other mini lockdowns in different districts or schools were closed. And now this. But when I was in Ningbo from 2020, I think April till October of just a few months ago, I was never locked down. There was no lockdowns. There was no there was low COVID cases. Uh, right now, they have very low cases right now. They have like one or two or three. Um, but Shanghai is just, I want to work and I'm wasting my time here. And right now, you're, I'm kind of trapped. There's no, uh, you can't, there's no DDs allowed, no taxis, no personal vehicles, there's no vans. So even if, even if, even if you can leave, there's no way to get your stuff out and it's too expensive to rent an apartment here and then go there and rent I even had a Chinese friend help me look for a storage unit place and she did she called it a warehouse but you know a storage unit and it's, it's reasonable it's like 100 RMB a month uh, a week fine the problem is how do I get there and that's in Minhong I'm in Songjiang district so how do I get there with my stuff in so it it's hard to say uh but moving forward i also see a lot of opportunities happening i don't think shanghai would ever go through another one they like this because they can't afford it either shanghai's economy is too important to china but yeah i don't know i mean what do you guys think i mean what would be your plan the thing is in my situation, I don't have a huge savings because I purchased a house two years ago and the la and all of my money was going towards remodeling and decoration. And then also, you know, paying off some of my uh, credit cards that I used to buy materials for the house that I purchased. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, living salary to salary. I mean, I have a, just a tiny bit of savings. So it's hard. I mean, Shanghai is a lot of good restaurants, good places to go. Um, people speak English. Most places, everything's just convenient. You can register where you're living on just on a on WeChat or the phone on the computer instead of going to the police station. Um, it's easier to get a visa here. The problem is lockdowns with this COVID world we live in it's hard to want to stay here. I also see a lot of foreigners leaving in China and Shanghai. I see a lot of businesses leaving. A lot of good restaurants are leaving. There used to be a White Castle here. There used to be a lot of other amazing restaurants, but they can't afford to keep going because most of their clientele, the customers are foreigners. And if we're all in lockdown, how are we gonna keep those businesses going? You know, I remember I remember when Taco Bell opened, I heard some American woman say, hey, 
it's our job to keep Taco Bell going. I thought it was pretty funny, but you know, a lot of restaurants are closing. A lot of a lot of great products you just can't get anymore because those shops or stores or places are closing. They're like Americans, we like root beer. Can't get that anymore. Even you can't even order on Taobao just because the whole situation's crazy. Now I know that's not a product made here, but there used to be shops that sold it, like a city shop. So moving forward, I there's a good chance I will leave. 50% chance I'm gonna leave. If not now, at least 80% later. Um, because I think this winter, things might get even crazier again. Who knows? I could be wrong, but I plan to leave. But then I was just reading an article and I'm gonna post another video later talking about 85% of expats in Shanghai plan to leave or or are rethinking their plan about staying here. So if a lot of people leave, that also means big job opportunities coming, you know? that That's also something to look forward to. So do I plan to leave? Possibly, if I could leave right now, I will. Uh, if school, if the lockdown ends in May, the beginning of May and schools don't plan to open anytime soon, I will leave. I will be gone. If things reopen now, and then I said, oh, a week later, schools can reopen. I'll probably stay for a while and then see how things are next time. Another thing I plan to do, and I, I suggest a lot of people do this, is reduce what you own, what you have. Reduce. If you can get down to enough where you... Unless, if you plan to stay in Shanghai for the long run, you got a big enough savings to do it, then this doesn't pertain to you. But for those who who are willing to be a little more flexible, reduce what you have, send, post your things home or whatever that you don't need, you really don't need it, and be flexible. If another lockdown happens, when things start to lock down, change cities. I was gonna do that problem is I got I got a TV, I got all these boxes I need to post. I can't even post these uh, boxes back home because you can't send anything out of Shanghai. Um, even my TV, I have a, I have a very big TV here. I, I contacted a international uh, shipper uh, for the Philippines and I'm gonna ship my TV to the Philippines after this lockdown is done. I wanna reduce, I'm just gonna stick to my computer or whatever TV is in the apartment when I move into any apartment. I'm just gonna stick with a small studio and be flexible. I think right now is not a time to sit here and settle down. Whether I stay in Shanghai, go to another city, I think right now being flexible is most important. Like a traveler, just enough to live your life and that's it. As for food, I have some stock up. If you do plan to stay in Shanghai or wherever, have a little bit of food on hand, like pancake mix, uh, noodles, different things like that. Um, but moving forward, yeah, I think it's time to move on to another city. Also, it's just gonna be tougher here moving forward. So guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in our next video, and hope you're all doing well.